Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, February the 14th, 2019. Happy Valentine's Day. This is episode 2,965. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's morning manna. Today's episode is titled Demonstrable. Stay tuned. Demonstrable. Have you ever heard anybody say this? What you do speak so loud, I can't hear what you're saying. I'm going to put a little different spin on that and talk about how important it is that what we say is demonstrable by what we do. And this comes from a passage in 1 John chapter 3. Let me begin reading in verse 17. But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by this we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. Now that is not to say that it's unimportant to express love in words. My wife and I did that already this morning. But what really matters is the deed and truth part. Our love needs to be demonstrable. Perhaps you've heard this story about a couple who went to see a counselor about the problems they were having in the marriage. And the wife complained that her husband never told her he loved her. The husband interrupted and said, I told that woman 40 years ago, I loved her. I haven't taken it back. So it's still in effect. Well, that silly illustration (laughs) demonstrated that His actions revealed a callous indifference and not love. And in this scripture, we see that John uses Christ as an example of love because his love was demonstrable. It was demonstrated by his sacrificial death on the cross. John urges us to lay down our life for our brothers and sisters and even our enemies. Now, remember that Peter had denied Jesus three times on the night he was crucified. And then Jesus speaks to Peter with three questions. Simon, son of Jonas, do you love me? Peter responded half-heartedly to the first two questions before giving a totally committed response of love. And in each case, Jesus told him, Feed my lambs, take care of my sheep, feed my sheep. So we notice that Peter's expressions of love were not enough. He was required to demonstrate his love by the giving of himself. Corey Ten Boom tells of meeting one of the Nazi prison guards who had served in the dreaded prison camp where she spent many years during World War II. She was at first filled with bitterness, but by giving him her love and forgiveness, she kept her love. I know this sounds crazy, but the walk with the Son of God, who is our Savior, is not to be explained with human reasoning. We are able to endure all the weapons of the enemy and respond in love and joy. Jesus wins. Who needs to see 
your love demonstrated today. Father, I pray today that you'd help us to have this demonstrable love. Yes, Lord, we can express love in words, but Lord, help us to express it in deeds today. Help us to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. Yeah, go ahead and enjoy some chocolate. I think I'll get me some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups today. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.